it played terrible today. You know, <clears throat> I don't agree with that because I watched the whole game from start to finish. And my opinion was United actually played a very good first half. They had Man City on the back of their heels at times. Uh, that goal from Marcus Rashford was an absolute scorcher. That thing rattled the crossbar and drove the fans into the orbit. They jumped out of their seats like there was a spring in their seat. It was absolutely insane. And I had never seen a shot um, from Marcus Rashford that good. That was absolutely uh, incredible. Um, what happened? What went wrong? Um, City. They just had the major possession. They made, what, thousands upon thousands of passes, what it seemed like. Uh, it just burned out and made the United team extremely tired uh, to the point where where Phil Foden had a clear chance on goal um, coming up to the second up to the second half he buried it nice finish from Phil probably got inspiration from Rashford Marcus Rashford because a similar shot but Marcus Rashford was obviously a little bit more fancy but Phil Foden's was you know very standard shot but great accuracy on target with power and boom back of the net Second half, what happened? United completely just gave up. Manchester United completely gave up. Man City dominated the second half like crazy. Um, so many through balls, so many chances. Haaland should have had one. Kevin De Bruyne should have had one or two. You know, we got a little bit complacent. We got a little bit hot-headed. We wanted more goals. Uh, the, the, go the, the quality of the, the shots on target were a little bit sloppy-ish. But then we started to pick up at the end of the second half. And Phil Foden just came alive, turned a treat, and then smashed it into the back of the net. Great goal from Phil Foden again for his second. Uh, City just weren't mark. I mean, City United weren't marking very well. They were just leaving people with tons of space uh, for, you know, Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne, and Rodri, and, and Foden, and Alvarez to really just move around them and outmaneuver them. I feel like United parked the bus at times. They kind of gave up after that first goal and weren't really pushing as hard, and they didn't really want it as much. Uh, and that third goal from Haaland, uh, it's just a simple goal for Haaland, but it was a great goal and a great finish. So I think overall, um, United, for being United, played well. Um, City just obviously played better, and that's how it's probably going to always be, as City is the meta team, the A-team, they are the team um, to come out of Manchester, the, the, the top class team. So I don't think much is going to change. Um, I think United is going to be need a huge rebuild uh, coming from the back to the forwards, to the front. They're going to need to rebuild. They need key players switched out and reinforced. And I don't think it's the manager's fault. I think the manager had okay tactics. However, I did notice that United were defending quite a lot. It felt like it, at times it felt like it was a 5-3-1 or 5-3-2 or something. It just seemed like a really weird formation. Like they were really set back and it wasn't balanced and it wasn't attacking. It was like, like I said, a very defensive posture. And I just didn't think that worked for them. I think they should have been more passive, more balanced, and they might have had a better chance of drawing the game. I don't think they could have won today. Uh, Man City is just too good. And uh, our team is on fire. And it was our best team put out too. You know, we can't say it was a half team. It was a full team. Uh, United got the shabam handed to them. Um, City had, you know, we had our dream team out there. And when that happens, bam, things happen. Even with Doku playing a little bit rough. And Grealish was probably a better option on the left wing. Still made it happen. Still 3-1. All right, people. I'll see you in the next one for a little match analysis of the game. How it, uh, how it went. And uh, if you guys are new, follow or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.